Hello, people of YouTube. I'm John, and today on N-Scale Friday, we have something from Atlas to take a look at. So let's head over to the bench and give it a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is a 40-foot reefer in N-Scale, obviously, by Atlas. And I looked on Atlas's website and I found that they make these in 17 different road names. How's that for variety? They also have two undecorated versions. It doesn't specify why, but one of the undecorated versions goes for $15.95 and the other one goes for $27.95. Likewise, with the decorated versions, they have two different prices. The less expensive of the two is $32.95 and the more expensive is $34.95. Again, it doesn't say why. These are from Atlas's master line and I would highly recommend to go to Atlas's website and see if they have the one or ones that you need. As usual, I've scrutinized the paint on this model and found it to be very well done. I can read all of the writing, including the tiniest writing over here. And looking at the side, you can see that there's wood side slatted detail that runs vertically. That's also very well done. It would really pop if you put some weathering powder or a light wash on this. Something else to mention is that all the details, like the ladder on the side and then on this end too, it's all molded detail. It's very well done though. And the molded detail around the door is especially good looking. All right, looking at the brake end, you can see that the brake wheel and hole that goes down to the bottom of the car is all a separately applied piece. You can see that the hatch detail up in here is really nicely done. And then you can also tell from this angle that that is in fact a knuckle coupler. I wanted to show you this side of the brake end as well so that you could see how good the lettering is in here and also here. They did a great job marking this car. Looking at the other side of the car, you can see it's similarly detailed. The molded door detail is especially good looking. I mentioned that on the other side. Just wanted to show you again here. Looks great. And we'll take a quick look at the AN. You can see it's molded ladder detail, just like on the other side. I saved this view for last because it has the hatches open, which I think is really cool. You have to be really careful because they're delicate, but they do open. And I'm not sure I've ever seen that in an N-Scale model before. A brief look at the top reveals the hatch detail on the top looks especially nice. And then that's a separately applied wooden roof walk. I mean, it's plastic, but it simulates a wooden roof walk. You know what I'm saying. And then a brief look on the bottom as well. You can see that there's molded brake detail. And I'm not sure why they do this, but... A lot of manufacturers have detail in the floor. This looks like a wooden floor. And then as I was mentioning before, these are knuckle couplers. They're truck mounted knuckle couplers. I looked at a similar model to this, not only in HO scale, but also in O scale recently. I think they might have even had the same decorations on them. And I have to say that the N scale model of that same car looks really good. Unlike the HO and O scale versions of this car, the doors don't open, but it still looks good. I think the level of detail that they were able to include in the molded plastic was beyond what I expected. And the detail of the vertical slats on the side of the car also looks really good. So good job, Atlas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.